Welcome to Free Educational Apps for iPad by the Mary F. English Program. This presentation will briefly introduce you to 12 different educational iPad apps for learners of all ages. You can download all of these apps for free by visiting the App Store from your iPad interface. So let's start with the ultimate educational app, Khan Academy. If you're an educator or a student or you just like learning things, you have to download the Khan Academy iPad app. They produce more great free videos on a wide variety of educational subjects like math, history, art history, chemistry, biology, and a majority of the subjects studied in K-12. The app makes it very easy to browse every video offered on the site. Or, if you want to create your own Khan Academy style educational videos directly from your iPad, Doseri is your best option. Doseri is a free interactive whiteboard that lets you record your notes as you draw them along with an audio narration. Drawing with your finger on the screen can be a challenge, so I recommend you buy some cheap stylus pens from Amazon if you want to get serious. Next is Endless Alphabet. It's the perfect alphabet and word learning tool for pre-kindergarten children who need full sensory overload just to pay attention. It's actually very well made, making the learner spell words, pronouncing letters as you click them, and then providing the definition and an animation illustrating the concept after they spell it. It's also a million times more exciting than paper flashcards. The next app for young children is Wow Coloring Book. Although the title screen calls it Fong Coloring Book, it's called Wow Coloring Book in the App Store. The app is a free, well-made coloring book for young children. Unlike other coloring book apps, it doesn't have obnoxious advertisements and doesn't try to get your kid to use your credit card. So I recommend it, but it may not be appropriate for some schools because of some Christmas imagery, uh, baby Jesus, and mild itchy and scratchy like behavior. But if that's not an issue for you, you should definitely check it out. Next is a spooky way for students in first through fourth grade to practice their addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division skills. Apparently there's been a zombie invasion and your math and magician skills are the only hope for mankind. It's a silly app, it's not scary even though there are zombies, but it's effective practice and having to solve a problem before a zombie grabs you actually does make you answer faster. Science360 is a free app put out by the United States National Science Foundation, which has a bunch of cool videos and high definition photos on just about any science topic you can imagine. If you're looking for a particular topic, the grid layout of the videos and articles will make it difficult to find, but if you want to give your students time to browse many different subjects, Science360 is a sleek app with cool things to see and learn. A great program for older students to practice learning the names of all the countries in the world is Tap Quiz Maps World Edition. Students are prompted with the name of a state or a country, and they have to tap that country or state on a map. It's effective practice, it's free, and it keeps statistics so you know what areas you still need to study. The next app, Google Drive, is not exactly an educational app, but it can definitely be helpful for educational purposes. Drive is basically Google's version of Microsoft Office. Drive gives you free tools to make Word documents, spreadsheets, slideshows, and most anything else you can make with Office. But Drive stores your documents in the cloud, so you can access and edit them from almost any computer or iPad with internet access. The Drive app is especially great for taking notes in college classes. Next is Duolingo, a totally free app for English speakers to learn Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, or Italian. Duolingo is so good that an independent study said it is more effective at teaching a foreign language than the average university classroom. It is designed for the iPhone, but it can still work on your iPad, and it's a very efficient way for learners of any age to improve their foreign language skills anytime, anywhere. Another great educational app is Flashcards Plus. If you like studying with flashcards, you have to try this app. If you don't study with flashcards, you really should. They're one of the best study methods you can possibly use for memorizing information. This app will let you create your own digital flashcard sets, or search and download for pre-created flashcard sets from CourseHero.com. Common Core is a handy app for teachers that provides you with all of the United States Math and Language Arts Common Core standards for K-12 classrooms. If you need to match up your lesson plans with Common Core standards, give this free app a try. And last but not least, Google Earth is one of the coolest apps ever invented. When we were kids, we studied with a globe, and the coolest thing it could do was spin in circles. 
Now with Google Earth, kids can zoom all the way down from outer space to an aerial picture of almost any part of the world. The app is fun just to browse, but it could be part of a learning activity where you give students a list of places to explore and have them take pictures when they find them. By the way, you can take a picture of your iPad screen at any time, like I've done in this presentation, by clicking the Home and Power buttons at the same time. That does it for this presentation. Thanks for watching.